What's up? It's Coach Z here at 24-7 Hockey. And in this video, we're going to cover five stick handling moves that are impossible to defend. All right, so for this group of drills here, okay, you're going to have to have some obstacles to go against. That would act like the defender. All right, so a chair, cones, tires, whatever, but set up some obstacles to go against so it's simulating like you're going against a defender. All right, now these stick handling drills work great if you execute them properly. So this is great to practice on the ice or off the ice, okay? So if you have time, you can also practice these off the ice as well, like we're gonna do here, and that way there's nothing stopping you. There's nothing stopping you from working on these drills 30 minutes a day, an hour a day, just repeating that process and then bring it on the ice, okay? So the first drill that we're gonna do here is a fake shot with an extend to the backhand. So coming in on a defender here, we're gonna pull that puck back, fake that shot, then we're gonna bring it and pull it out to our backhand. So the whole idea here is, is to get that defender to freeze on that fake shot. So you really have to sell it, all right? So you're gonna be coming in here, coming in at the defender. You really have to sell that fake shot, all right? Make a stick handle, and then you're pulling it to your backhand, all right? When you pull that puck to your backhand, ideally, you wanna bring it in nice and tight to your body, okay? So the farther away from your body it is, the closer you're gonna be the defender to get that uh, poke check out, okay? So first one coming in, faking the shot, extending out wide, get that good full extension on that stick handle to make sure that you're getting that puck as far away from possible. Now for the second drill, again, we're gonna fake the shot, okay? The fake shot is a great move, okay? And as we fake that shot, it's gonna come to our backhand, but instead of pulling it wide out to our uh, wide on the backhand side there, we're actually gonna pull it into our body. So we're gonna come here, step laterally, make that lateral step come into our body. All right, now this is a great move because from here you can release a shot, okay? You can bring the puck wide still and beat the defender, or you can look for that pass. Take the shot, pull it. Now I can shoot or I can pass right there. All right? So if I fake that shot here, I pull that puck into my body, I have it on my forehand side. This is a great play because I can move that puck on my forehand side. I can dish it, I can shoot it from right here, and you're just in a really good position. So this is how we create time and space. All right? So just walking through it again real quick. I'm going to come in here, okay? I'm going to fake the shot. The puck's going to come to my back end. I'm gonna step laterally, okay? So when you're skating, you're just gonna take that shuffle step and you have to learn to be agile and learn how to use those lateral movements to create time and space. All right, so I'm coming in, faking the shot, pulling it into my body. Real quick, before we continue with the rest of this video, I just wanted to let you know that we have a free gift for you at the end of this video. It's a free goal scoring challenge and sniper workout that you can access to, okay? There'll be a link right here. It's 247hockey.com slash score. There'll also be a link right here in the video and there'll be a, a link in the description of the video. That's how you can access that free goal scoring challenge for serious players that want more training and wanna score more goals and dominate on the ice. Also, if you're not subscribed yet and you're enjoying this video, please hit that subscribe button so that you get notified whenever we release new videos. Okay, the next move is gonna be a fake toe pull with a push. Okay, so here we're gonna bring that puck we're gonna fake that toe pull this way, but we're gonna push it out, okay? So the whole idea again is on that toe pull, we're gonna try to get that defenseman to cheat to this side, and then as soon as they shift their weight to that side and anticipate the toe pull, really, we're gonna hold it in this toe pull position right here and lean your body, okay? When you lean your body, you're trying to get that defenseman to cheat, and then you push. And the nice thing is if the defenseman doesn't cheat, then you just toe pull around them, all right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come down, okay, the puck's out here, Bring it in, lean the body, and then push through. So as soon as you sense that that defenseman's cheating, you're gonna push through, okay? So on this one, really watch how the stick blade works, okay? There's no stick handling in front. So if you watch how that stick blade works, when you're here and you toe pull, and you have the puck right here, you're gonna bring it and then push through, all right? So you're just opening up that stick blade. Here, push through. 
So really all you're doing is just here and then opening up that stick blade and pushing, just trying to lean your body and getting that defenseman to bite. This move's great for also getting a shot off, okay? So as soon as you make that toe pull move, you step out and you get a shot. In the next move that's impossible to defend, we're gonna work on a quick backhand forehand, okay? So this is just here, just shifting your weight quick on your backhand side and then extending out on your forehand, okay? Now if you do this quick, backhand forehand extend, you should get that defenseman to bite. But again, it's gotta be more than just your stick blade, okay? You have to do, your, you have to shift your body weight and take that uh, shuffle step and then explode out, all right? So you have to sell it that you're actually trying to pull the puck to your backhand side, all right? So it's this quick step here and then pull it out. You have to make it quick because you want to avoid the, uh, the poke check, all right? So it's not just st the stick handle. It's gotta be the step, shifting the weight, and then explosive. And work on making that quick both directions. Work on that agility and that explosiveness when you're doing this drill. This is also a great move for getting a shot off. So you make that backhand forehand move and then without any stick handles, you release that puck. All right, the next move that we're gonna work on is cutting across the front of those defenders and then cutting back behind them, okay? So it's step in front, cut behind. So the whole idea here is when you're coming down on your offside, okay, you're gonna cut across and take a step this way laterally, trying to get that defender to open up with you and open up that foot. And as soon as their toes are pointing the wrong direction, that's a sign that you need to cut off behind them, all right? So what you're gonna do, and again, in order to sell this, you have to turn this way and then cut behind them, all right? When you make that cut, extend that reach out to protect yourself and protect that puck. Get it out as wide as you can, all right? So cut across to the middle, get that defender to open up, and then hard cut behind them, all right? So again, this is where the agility comes into play. The stick handling comes into play here. Now, after you make that move, you can obviously make a play, make a pass. You can take a good hard backhand shot. All right, that's up to you because you've created that time and space. Do you want to score a goal in your next game? Do you want to be able to dominate on the ice and feel like every time you touch the puck, you're a threat to score? We have a free goal scoring challenge. It's a series of trainings and workouts that you can implement that's gonna help you create more confidence with the puck, create more goal scoring opportunities and being able to bury your chances. It doesn't matter if you're a forward or a defenseman, this free goal scoring challenge is gonna get you started on training, thinking and playing like an elite hockey player and building that confidence with the puck to score goals. You can access that right here at this link. It's 247hockey.com slash score. There'll also be a link in the description of this video that you can click on, or there'll be a link right here in the video too that you can access. And that's all going to take you to our free goal scoring challenge at 247hockey.com slash score. So if you're serious about wanting to score more goals, if you're serious about wanting to step up your training and becoming that elite level player on your team, subscribe to our channel, turn on the notifications. That way you'll be notified every time we release a new video. And if you have any ideas for videos that we should create, I wanna get your feedback. I'm looking for ideas and creating more videos. How can I help you become a better hockey player, all right? Leave a comment below. Let me know what you wanna work on. Let me know what videos you want us to create so I can help you become a better hockey player. Go to 247hockey.com slash score. Or click that first link in the description. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave a comment below and let me know what videos you want us to make, okay? I'm Zach, head coach here at 24-7 Hockey. Thanks for watching. Remember, elite hockey players aren't born, they're made.